And the point I'd like to emphasize here is that African Americans, both slave and free, are very much part of these debates as participants in these debates about the meaning of the war. And this was the, the discovery in the course of my research that was the most eye-opening for me. This book had its origins in an assignment I was given some years ago. I was asked to give a talk at a commemoration of Juneteenth, this June 19, 1865, when emancipation was announced in Texas. It became an African-American holiday uh, in the Southwest and eventually around the country. I didn't know much about Juneteenth, so I thought it was a good chance to educate myself. And in the course of researching Juneteenth, I kept running across references by African-Americans, um, uh, ministers and reformers and politicians and editors and folks who wrote memoirs and people who were interviewed in the 20th century as part of a project to record the memories of, of people who had been slaves. And all these sources, I kept seeing references to Appomattox as a freedom day, to a widespread belief on the part of African Americans that Appomattox, April 9, was the day the promise of the Emancipation Proclamation was fulfilled, the day that freedom became a reality. And uh, I, I saw this not only among Virginia slaves, people like Bush, Booker T. Washington, but among uh, those who had been slaves very far away from Appomattox. When they learned of Lee's surrender, that's when they, the moment they first felt they were free. And sometimes this was because the news of the surrender sort of prompted a scene in which masters would gather slaves and announce that the war was over uh, and that the Confederate cause was a dead letter and that, and that the slaves were free. They had felt they hadn't had to make such an announcement while they still were, were in control. So slaves understood that the defeat of Lee's army uh, 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 marked the end of the Confederate cause and therefore the end of, of slavery. This is a reminder Again, a useful reminder in this sesquicentennial year in which we celebrated the Emancipation Proclamation that emancipation was not a moment but a process, and that many African Americans felt that, that process wasn't fulfilled until the Confederacy was a dead letter, until Lee had surrendered to Grant.